To my mind, since I joined the Hunger Project 18 years ago, every day is an opportunity. An opportunity to apply whatever energy, leadership, passion, and commitment I have, whatever I am, to this purpose. To see my country, Mexico, free from hunger and poverty and in peace. I am constantly inspired by the vision of rural women and girls becoming powerful, productive, self-reliant, they inspire me to keep going even when things can really get tough. And here's an example. I would like to tell you the story of Mercedes. Mercedes is a 46-year-old woman, mother of a five, living in the community of Bayalemo in the southern state of Chiapas. She is an indigenous woman from the Tzotzil people, one of the most traditional indigenous groups of Mexico. Mercedes is an artisan. She creates beautiful clothing for women and men and is a member of a local women's textile cooperative. During the cooperative's general assembly, Mercedes was nominated to serve as a member of the cooperative board then, to her other surprise, she was elected president of the board. And as astonished as she was by this vote of confidence, she also was gripped with doubt. Mercedes even attempted to reject the nomination, thinking, surely, someone else would be a better leader than I am. Because you see, typically, women from the indigenous rural in Chiapas do not participate in decision-making bodies. Now, the voices are ever hardly heard. And you know, they don't assume leadership positions at all. And they often say, this is too hard, or I can do it or it's even a waste to try. But you see, the work that we do in the Hunger Project Mexico, working with indigenous women to expand their vision of themselves, what we do is open up their willingness to step up into leadership. We strengthen their agency and leadership skills. And above all, we are very patient in their process. We understand and respect people's community space rather than imposing ours. We don't do development for them. We do development with them. Thank you. In the end, Mercedes accepted her role as a president of her cooperative, and she was so successful. And what did, that, what did that look like? She stepped into this position as an expression of her stand, a stand for women and girls, and she took that stand so that they could see themselves taking those leadership roles. The following year, when the new cooperative elections took place, for the first time, younger women were nominated. And for the first time, they said freely, yes. <laughs> Mercedes and stand to inspire young women to have their voices heard. She encouraged them to leave their fears behind and shows them how to stand up for their own indelible rights. Muchas gracias. <laughs>